Hi everyone. Uh, yesterday I was bored and I wanted to make a pocket folder for my Midori. Now um, this is not the six pocket craft folder that Marianne at a pocket full of vintage has, which I adore, but I don't have any uh, legal sized um, file folders laying around here. So I attempted to make one a while back with the, with a letter size one that I had. I just don't like the depth of the pockets. So while I love that tutorial and if I come across a legal size, um, folder, I will definitely, definitely make one because I really do like her tutorial. Um, I just wanted a, a pocket uh, folder type thing that I could put in front of my Midori. So yesterday I made this little guy. This is the outside of it. This is the inside. You see it has a little pocket here. Um, it, and then it continues on to the back as well. And I simply made this out of um, a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock that I had on hand and some washi tape. And I had a couple of requests to do a, do some instructions or a tutorial on this. I made this up as I went along um, and you could probably do so as well, but I'm going to attempt to uh, do a tutorial for you and we'll just see how it goes. So let's take a look at what you need for um, this uh, craft folder or this folder made from a piece of cardstock. First thing you need is a cardstock, obviously, and this is some ancient 12 by 12 textured cardstock that I have had for probably 10 years or so. 10, not 8, 9, 10, 11 years, something. It's textured. I bought this at a scrapbook store that is no longer in existence in Sarasota um, but it has some nice little texture so it's, it has some little dots on it um, you can see that it's raised on this side so that's the first thing you will need 12 by 12 piece of cardstock you will need some scissors you will need a um, Midori size notebook or whatever notebook that um, you're going to use this is the full size Midori one you will need um, I use a paper cutter, a uh, paper trimmer. You can also use a rotary cu cutter and um, scissors if, uh, or rotary cu cutter and a ruler if you have that on hand. Um, I have, this is an actually an OmniGrid mat, self-healing mat that I use when I quilt and sew. Um, just something that you need, you might want to use to protect your surface because um, I do use an X-Acto knife, uh, or I did on the other one. Um, and I just didn't want to mark up my table. And then I have this little bone score. Um, I guess that's what this is called. It's a Martha Stewart craft thing. I just use it just to um, make sure I have some sharp folds. So those are the things that you need. And a pencil or something to write with here. And then whatever washi tape that you have that you have laying around. I just picked a couple of colors and we'll get to that shortly. So. Put all this aside and grab your piece of cardstock, your notebook, pencil, oops, pencil, and here we go. So first things first, open up your notebook. Now, my mistake yesterday that caused me to have to trim mine a little bit is that I actually did, I traced out around the cover of my Midori, uh, not the actual notebook. The notebooks are smaller, so make sure you get, um, that is what you use to trace. So first thing I do is line up the edges like so, and then I just trace around using my pencil. Now keep in mind that you may have to trim a little bit extra, no big deal. This is a work in progress. This is yours. There is no hard and fast rules. This is just how I did mine. Put that to the side. Oops. Grab your paper trimmer. Let me turn this one on this way. Sorry about that. You can tell I am not used to doing tutorials. Um, then line up your paper. And I always go just to the inside of the line that I have marked. One, save your scraps because they're nice rectangular size. You can use them for something else. Line them up again. Actually, no, 
scratch that. I'm not going to cut this. I'm, you're going to end up with a piece like this because you're going to want to score um, or fold this line. But before you do that, go through and sort of mark where your middle part, the midpoint is because this is where you're going to want to fold it. And this is where you're going to cut again. So you can do that or just fold it in half. All right, so now, see your line here. Let me move this up a little bit. Okay. See that? This is where you're going to fold it. This is going to make your pocket. So carefully, and you can do it both ways. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm going to fold. Make sure you have it on the line or as close to you can to get it. Now this, this cardstock, because it is textured, it's a little heavier weight. Um, is a little more difficult to um, to fold, so just be careful with that. So take my score and just give it a good crease. Okay. And I've also found that it's helpful if you also fold it the other way and do that. Now that you have this. You're going to fold it this way. This is going to be your fold. Give you a nice sharp fold for the back center line. All right, so there you go. I never seem to be able to get my super sharp, perfect fold. So sometimes it does require trimming, but that's okay, this is mine. All right, so now you have, now you take this out and you unfold it, and then you have, this is going to make your pocket. So what you want to do as well is to, you see the center line here where I'm pointing? You're going to want to take your paper trimmer, rotary cutter, or your X-Acto knife, and you're going to want to cut all the way up this line and just a little bit past where you've marked. This is so the, um, the rubber band or the elastic will sit nicely there and you may also want to notch it up here but that can come later okay so i'm going to go back to my paper cutter and the reason i like to use my paper cutter is one it's handy and two i don't usually have to have a lot of tools uh, floating around because i do like to sit out on my couch with my um little you know tray table and work on this as opposed to being um, in the kitchen or at my desk where i can't see or hear what's going on all right so line this up as close as you can and carefully cut past the pencil line, just a little bit past, bring it down and voila, fold this up and voila, you have your pocket. Now, what do you do? How do you attach it? I like to use washi tape. and. You can, by using your washi tape, you can personalize it as much or as little as you want. So I have these three. Here I have yellow, I have green, a little light green, and then I have this little um, floral, um, oh, these look like little poppies, and they have little green stems. So I think I'm gonna use this. So uh, what you do now is you just tape. You just tape here, you tape across the top, you tape across the sides if you want to. You can just tape across the top and down just to give you a little pocket. I don't usually tape this um, to where it's taped down. Um, you can or can't, it's up to you. I just use it, you know, I don't have anything that's going to really slide out of it or I don't plan on using that, so I just, um, I just don't usually tape it down. So I'm going to tape this down and I will be right back. I'll show you how I get started here. First thing I usually do is I usually tape the sides and I do go all the way uh, from top to bottom and I give a little bit of overhang and this is where your little um, X-Acto knife or some super sharp scissors will come into hand, come in handy. And you may have to take the washi tape off and do it again. It just depends on how um, OCD you're going to be about things. I tend to not worry terribly much about it unless it's off because it's for me and I am not one to be that OCD. 
flip this over. It's okay if you are. It's just not me. I think there are um, a little more th important things to worry about. Okay, fold this over. See, this isn't perfect back here, but that's okay. It's going to be in my Midori. Who's going to see it but me? And then you can use your scissors or your exacto knife to trim the top part for you. There you go. There's this one. And this is where I would pull out the exacto knife or the rotary cutter. Cutter. These scissors are pretty sharp, but they're not more like like a cutter bee type sharp. Okay. So to give it. Um, a little bit of opening, I will just cut that down as well. Or just open this up just a little bit. Just like that. Make sure this gets folded down here and that folded under. See? Okay, next side. And I'm going to do the next side as well. See, I told you I was going to come back, but now I guess I'll just do it all on camera. Cut. That's the thing about crafting. You can be as perfect or as imperfect as you like and nobody cares because this is for you. This is how you make your make things for you. Obviously, if you were making these to sell in an Etsy shop or to give away, you may be a little more careful. Um, but, you know, it it is what it is and um, Life is too short to stress out on if your washi tape is perfectly straight or not. Okay, you just wanna make sure that's wide enough that it will give you a little bit of a um, overlap on the back so it will hold the, um, the pockets in place. And this does, and you can always go back and add a little more if you need to. So, so then I'm going to, oops, take my scissors and or my exacto knife it's just it's in the other room i just don't want to go get it cut a little notch there so you have a little bit of opening there you go now i am for this one what i did for the last one as well i'm going to run a piece of washi tape here and then notch it um, here so it will give it a little more strength because the cord is going to go it, this is going to slot under your back elastic but you know how things can get in your midori the cord can come up through here um, and you and it is a it is a stress point so you probably do want to just give it a little bit of extra extra help here so let's do that real quick again same thing cut your excess Flip it over. This case, I might consider um, oops, adding a little extra here, but you can always add a little extra piece of washi tape right there if you see that it is getting worn a little more than you would like. Cut that. Again, it is totally up to you as to how you want to do that. There we go. Just notch that a little bit. Um, this one, I think I'm happy with. I don't know that I'm going to add washi here. You can. Um, let me see if we grab the other one really quickly. I'll pull that out of my Midori so you can see that, how I decorated this one. All right, so here's the one from yesterday, and you will notice that I did, um, I did washi all up and down um, the sides here um, and here as well. Um, what I should have done um, before I folded it was to have added washi here, but you can go back and if you're really careful, um, add it uh, as a little extra support. So, you know, I, I love my washi tape. Um, I added a lot here, but I think that's the beauty of being able to customize what you have. You can um, add more later, you can um, leave it off. Just do it however you like to do it. So for this one, I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, I like the um, just the corners being done. And I say that I may go back later and add the more washi. But for now, this is the basic tutorial of how I cut my 12 by 12 cardstock, how I use the washi to adhere it. Um, you could even, if you wanted the, um, the 
to have a diagonal pocket where you don't have this. You could score this, um, you know, down and add a pocket, you know, and cut it here as well. The ideas are infinite, but this is just how I, the basic idea of how I did uh, my pocket folder using uh, washi tape and some cardstock that I had laying around. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, ask me or post some comments below. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. We are off to Gainesville tomorrow to help my daughter move into her apartment. So um, I will take some pictures and maybe post them on my Instagram and I will put, uh, put all my information below where you can find me. Come follow me on Instagram. Say hi. I will follow you back. I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so after I finished filming the whole video, I went back and decided that, you know what, I probably should just suck it up, add the extra piece of washi because I like the way it looked, and give it a little strength from the outside. I did not add the interior because if you're going to add the interior piece of washi tape like it is on this one, do it before you fold, um, you start um, folding this part and um, adding the washi here because if you wait um, and do it last, um, you're going to have a hard time um, getting it straight. Um, so lesson learned, add this piece of washi tape first if you want it for the interior before you start folding and adding everything else. What I did do though is I did add it to the back to give it some strength. And then I just went through and um, added the washi here again. And you know, it's easier if you add it first before you start folding, but um, this was just super simple. All I did was took my washi, um, pulled it out here, laid it across, um, cut it up the middle, and then just folded it over for some extra strength. So definitely do the interior part first if you want to add the washi um, for strength in the middle and everything else can be done pretty much um, at any time. Now, if you notice on this one, I did add a little pocket. This is just, I believe, a Smashbook pocket. Um, I'll link it below. Um, I don't know if I have it over here. If I have the, oh, I do have the packaging over here. Quickly. All right, this is, this is re the recollections. These are mini pockets and envelopes. Um, and all I did was to attach them. I didn't use glue. I just used some, um, some of these. Oops that I've had also in the stash for years. It's just these little um, recollection um, photo dot, photo squares. Um, and I don't remember why they were in a box and I didn't use them because they make a mess. So, um, so you can add a pocket here. Um, you can add a sticker here. Um, you can add whatever you want on the front if you want to decorate it. Um, I probably won't because this one is going, this one here is going to sit on um, the in the outside of my Midori, and then the or it's gonna be on the. It's, it'll be the first thing you see when you open my Midori. Um, let me show you. It's going to sit actually here up underneath everything um, first, and then so that would be the very first thing you would see when you open my Midori is is this uh, with this slit underneath, and then I'm uh, this one. I don't know where I'll add it. I maybe I'll add it between two um, two notebooks. This is pretty full as it is, so I don't know. Maybe I'll add it here just um, for you know, just for whatever as an extra. I might just keep it for extra. Just slide it in here. Who knows? Anyway, that's it. Sorry, I've uh, went back and added things after uh, I finished the tutorial. But hey, that's how it goes. I don't usually film tutorials and. Uh, you know, they can only get better. So anyway, once again, hope you guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon.